your boy DJ Academics and 50 Cent and former business associate Shot Money Excel going at it on Instagram. Now, ladies and gentlemen, now Shot Money Excel posted up a picture of him and 50 back in the day and said, Throwback Thursday, 2002 in the club with 50 Cent. Now, seems like he was sticking up for 50 in the caption because he said, Steve Stout, you can't count 50 out. He was the one that was chasing us to get that G unit money. Now to some political shit. Now, 50 Cent, who obviously wants nothing to do with Shy Money XL, they got some type of beef. He posted the same picture with a cross in the space where Shy Money XL face was, and he said, Success could turn old friends into enemies. You're soft, and you'll always lose going against me, boy. Now, I'm not sure what this beef stems for, but we've seen 50 Cent's falling out with a lot of people who used to associate with back in the past. Slowbucks, apparently Trav, and other people, even this former G-Unit members, which they've reunited. So, 50 Cent is cool back with Banks and Tony Ayo and Young Buck, but recently he was airing them all out. But, people like Trav, Slowbucks, and even Shy Money XL, they're still on the outside. Now, Shy Money XL responded to 50 posting the same picture with the same cross in front of his face, and he said, Facts. History repeats itself. So soon shall the truth be revealed. I too shall carry the cross with pride. Living by the laws, motivation runs deep. The golden child will remain silent to my people. Peace be still, my niggas, we good. The truth shall set us free. No man controls my destiny. I don't know where this nigga's quoting all this shit from. This this looks like all this looks like a, some cliche Twitter quotes, but I'll keep reading. Robin Hood, my nigga, I love my hood. What the fuck is this? Now, hashtag Queens. Oh my god, what's up with it? Listen, I can't stand you Negroes quoting random cliche quotes and trying to make a message out of it. But I I'll digress. I'll continue. He says, I would do it all over again. I'll I only stand next to the truth, facts, was I soft when niggas try to kill you? I was the only nigga willing to stand next to you, wear them vests, guns, and wear your problems. I took you into my house for two years when niggas had money on your head. Was I soft then, 50? Took all those jail calls, calls that you dodged from real killers that kept niggas off you. Kept you safe, nigga. You writing books about morals you don't even live by. I called you May 21st after you were all on the radio speaking about my past personal life. What kind of real nigga is that? But I'm soft. Never once have I ever mentioned your name in any type of interview, in any type of negative direction. Because you hold no value. We do not do business together. We're done making money. Nigga, admit it. You love my style. I've been changing lives for real. Niggas getting real niggas out of jail, turning real niggas into stars. It's what I do best. You should know better than anybody else. You were just the first. Hashtag motivation and a bunch of nigga shit. Now, to be fair here, let's keep in mind that Shamani Excel currently is doing business with Slowbucks and he's entered a 50 50 venture with Slowbucks and Echo Unlimited. And that's why their clothing brand is in a lot of stores across the US. Over 200 stores and uh, distributions crazy. So it's in his best interest to really support Slowbucks. And it's obvious why 50 is probably not cool with him. If you support Slowbucks, we know 50. He's not going to be cool with you. Now, Curtis Jackson, of course, responded as we knew he would. He said, Sha, you ain't got a street bone in your body, boy. Shaking my head. You a gangster now? Okay. So wait, you made me laughing my ass off. Ain't that what Dame said to Jay? You not like Dame. You ain't shit when I see you. Please be the guy who wrote this. Don't run out of the place for no reason. Last time like Flash. L.A. Reid told you to do this to try to sell some records. You tell him everybody's fair game. Now, we all know what happened with 50 Cent and Steve Stout. Apparently, he was bullying Steve Stout. Front court, mid game, at the Madison Square Garden at the next game. So, we see what happens. And really, I can't even give an opinion who's right and who's wrong because I don't really know each other's side. They're only typing on Instagram. If they do an interview explaining their own sides, I could then say, okay, well, that makes sense and that's bullshit and I believe this as opposed to this. But Sha Money did respond to 50, which is kind of scathing. Like, Sha Money, he looks like he was going there with 50. He said, listen, 50, I watched you flash out of that deposition when them boys jumped on your man's head and you left him, nigga. 
You calling me Flash because I don't want to be around you? You been leaving niggas for dead. Better than me, right? Stop, my nigga. This me. What did I do to deserve your negativity in my life? Never said I was a gangster. I'm a record executive. I'm a record executive. That is not scared, and I'm a real nigga first. And did right by you and a ton of niggas out there. I'm good in these streets, and I'm good by my niggas. And I expect some respect for that. I don't retract nothing I said. I was there for you when nobody was. Introduce you to your lawyer and Chris Lighty. Rest in peace. Built your whole team. Your niggas are still my niggas, and you're creating odds for no reason. Not into this internet beef and shit. You doing to sell your records. My record's been selling. You want me to sell your record? Let's get in the studio. I got tracks you need. I've been successful since I left. And you know it. 40 years old now. Cut the shit you was doing 15 years ago with niggas you know. You can't pull me down to bring yourself up. And I mean, damn. I will say, right now it does look bad for 50 Cent. Because a lot of things that Sean Money's saying... Does make a little sense. It looks like 50 Cent's been beefing a lot of people around him. However, we don't know the full story. These niggas could have been leeching off 50 Cent's success. We've seen that 50 Cent was pretty successful. So, really, we're going to wait till everything comes out. I'm really just presenting the story. You guys could give you preliminary comments. But until both do an interview where they're talking in depth about their issues, we did hear 50 Cent say of how he gave Sean money, money he didn't deserve and really... Gave him president, like gave him all types of stuff he didn't deserve. So we'll see what ends up coming out of this. But it's too early for me to make really a distinction of who's right and who's wrong. But it's really not helping to sell animal ambition. It looks like 50 Cent has some personal agendas against these niggas. And if they did rob him or they did take advantage of him, I could understand. If 50 was feeding these niggas, they need to probably show some type of respect. They can't just band together like, oh, we're going against him. When in reality, had it not been for 50... You'd have never been rich, you'd have never existed, and you'd have been a broke, bum dude still living in Queens. It's your boy DJ Academics. You guys get in the comment box. Make sure you like, subscribe. I'm out.